Hello everybody, this is Mommy Wata. I'm back with another channel message for my listeners. I am over 100 views. Thank you to everyone who is watching my videos. Thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for to everyone who has hit the like button on one of my videos. I hope that um, it has helped you in some way, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Holy, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for us? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for us today? What messages do you have for us? What would you like for us to know? What would you like for me to know? We have the Queen of Swords. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Magician. We have the sun, we have the chariot, and we have the queen of cups. One more card, Holy Spirit, to clarify this. One more card to clarify this message. And we have the ace of wands. All right, so, man, the energy we pick up on, but um, we can't always pick up on flowers and roses, so... I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. If you don't, if you want to hear about flowers and roses, you might as well click off because um, the message that the Holy Spirit has for us is that somebody is um, about to be doing some magic tonight um, for the full moon. Okay, this is what I'm seeing here. Um, someone is plotting. This Queen of Swords is plotting against this Queen of Cups. She's coming in fast with this Chariot card. Um, I don't really get into um, astrology when it comes to tarot, but they say the chariot card stands for either a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, wherever that resonates, let it hit where it fit. But um, this Queen of Swords is coming in fast towards this Queen of Cups um, with magic. Um, she is plotting something. If you look at this magician card, um, the magician at a low vibration, it's somebody who's trying to manipulate a situation. Um, they're using different tactics and methods. If you see that wand, you see um, a cauldron on the table. Um, they're, they're cooking up something. They're conjuring something. Um, with this ace of wands, this can be a phallic card, but this also out here with this magician and the sun card, it just further verifies um, that there is being somebody is planning to do magic, okay, under the full moon tonight. We have the sun card here, and um, there is something that they want to be illuminated, um, that they feel like they can bring something to light, bring something forth with whatever they have planned to do, whatever you know, charm, spell, ritual, I don't know, you know, whatever they do. That they this Queen of Swords most definitely is plotting something against this Queen of Cups. What else, Holy Spirit? They just don't get enough, boy. <laughs> Knight of Cups, okay? Yeah. This cup, um, I mean, she's most definitely cooking up something to serve we have this page of swords yes because there's just this ongoing feeling of jealousy here i'm just picking up this five that this is a long um this has been going on for a while okay this is not a situation where um i feel like this queen of swords has been trying to get revenge on this queen of cups for a long time um that she has made multiple attempts but her attempts have not panned out. Let's see here. This is what I'm picking up. And I think this is just like another desperate attempt. Yes, another desperate attempt by the devil. Here we go. To stop this Queen of Cups from interacting with this Queen of this King of Wands here. Okay. Um, that's just what it is, what's coming out. And um I think that this Queen of Swords has tried, yes, um, we have the Two of Swords here, has tried for a long time to keep these two people apart um, with this Two of Swords as well. But I believe that she 
she has blocked this connection. So I think her plans for the full moon, we have the king, king of swords out here. Um, her plans for the full moon is to continue to have this king of wands. What I'm actually picking up is that this queen of swords has been using magic to block this king of wands from interacting with this queen of cups. Whatever spells or manipulation that she's been doing, it has been blocking them from being together, but also it has been causing this king of wands to treat this queen of cups like a king of swords. That's a lot. Basically, this 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 person who's doing the magic is trying to stop this other man and woman from being together, okay? And she is, the way that she's doing that is she is using a spell that makes this king of wands treat this other person like shit, basically. He act like he can't stand her. He's very mean, evil, nasty towards her, even though that energy is not what she knows of him in their previous interaction together. But whatever spell this Queen of Swords does, it 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 keeps these people from being together. And it makes this King of Wands treat this Queen of Cups like he does not care about her. But she's coming up, excuse me, she's coming up as the Queen of Cups. So if she's the Queen of Cups, um, then he obviously does have some love for her. But if he's being spiritually manipulated, um, this is where that this is where the issue is coming in at. We have the Eight of Swords here. She most definitely is doing magic to keep this King of Wands bound and keep him in this King of Swords energy towards this Queen of Cups. We have Ten of Swords. Um, she is very determined to break this connection up completely and definitely. And I also feel like this Ten of Swords is speaking about her energy towards this Queen of Cups that she's trying to destroy her. And um, maybe she feels like this King of Wands not being in this Queen of Cups life will destroy her. But I also feel like she's doing additional spell work during this full moon to ensure that this Queen of Cups does not have any kind of victory, okay? Um, but she a damn fool if she think that's going to work, okay? She a fool, period. And if you look at this fool card, it's almost like she done broke herself down to rags, dirty, probably don't even be washing her ass regularly okay because she's so busy about worrying about trying to ruin somebody else's life but look at how she look so that tells you a lot about what happens to people who try to use magic to destroy and manipulate other people's lives and destinies they don't fare well in the long run okay i mean they might be hot and popping for a minute they might get what they they want for a little while but eventually those tables turn, okay? We have the moon here. So most definitely this queen of swords is planning all kinds of spells for this full moon. Um, I advise this king of wands, if you ever seen something, your woman or whoever you're dealing with, all of a sudden she want to cook you something or make you a certain special mixed drink, or something like that tonight, I would advise you to watch your food and your drink. I'm just keeping it real with this two of cups here. If you see a snakes literally slithering out of the cups. So um, that's a shout out. Also to my masculines, I wouldn't be eating and drinking after people, especially women that you know you've had issues and quarrels with in the past, or there may have been some infidelity, or you know they have a problem with somebody you dated in the past, I would um, keep my eye on them tonight, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit, regarding this energy? We have justice. Like I said, this Queen of Swords is not faring well, and um, what the Holy Spirit is saying is if they continue to carry on in this way, 
thinking that they can do black magic against people, um, they're going to really see what it's like, what kind of magic God got, okay? 10, 10 on the phone. That cycle um, is being completed in a lot of different um, situations with people trying to manipulate others with black magic to get what they want. It's play, okay? So if your goal is to try to manipulate somebody's life, existence, or cause them ill will and harm during this full moon tonight, Holy Spirit says you need to let that go because you will be in a debilitated state um, and justice will be served for those that you try to do anything against. All right, that's all that I have for um, this message. I hope this helps somebody. I really do hope this helps somebody. And I'll be back soon with another one, okay? All right, peace.